the subscribe button below and the bell button next to it so that you do not miss out any of my videos and stay updated with my channel and it is absolutely free hi friends welcome to beauty infinite so today's video is going to be another of my top five product series yes these are my favorite products about which i discuss with you guys with mini reviews and today's product is going to be loose powder you want to know what are my top five no top six loose powder available in the indian market are then please keep on watching powder I wanted to talk about is the one which I bought for the first time in my vanity and that will be the star cosmetic translucent face powder in I really really liked this powder first of all the packaging is really good the quality of the plastic is definitely quite durable and it comes with a wide variety of shade range guys it has like yellow matte beige matte a lot of different shades to choose from I personally owe three of their colors one is in yellow matte another one in beige matte and another one in our song Color beige matte could be perfectly used as a day-to-day -day setting powder and the yellow matte powder is more of a yellow a textured powder sort of like a banana powder so yes you can use it not only to set your face but to highlight your overall face or powder has a soft texture it is not extremely grainy so that is something which I really really love our brand to look into because yeah affordable plus good in quality and application you can see the difference in shade in both the swatches the one which is beige matte at the right is more with a beige undertone and it has a warmer tone as well while the yellow one has more yellow into it so it is perfect for highlighting next product i wanted to talk about is a colorless hd high definition powder this is another translucent powder i have and again this powder comes with a good variety of shade rich now first of all i really do not like the packaging because i feel the packaging is quite bulky plus the brush with which it comes in i will always suggest you please do not use the brush because it shades like hell so if you just use it on your face and if you are someone who has a sweaty skin oily skin you will find a bristle stuck on all over your face so please don't use the brush i hate it powder itself is really good in quality it does have a good yellow undertone which is well suitable for indian skin tone so you can use it not only to bake but also to set your base quite well oh, the only disadvantage is that it do requires a bit of layering up in terms of oil absorption so yes i don't feel it's more suitable for oily skin i feel it is more suitable for someone with dry to normal or combination skin Again, Colorescence is a cruelty-free brand and their products do not have any harmful ingredients. So definitely it is a good product to try out and a decent translucent powder available in the Indian market. This powder I wanted to talk about is one of my personal favorite and this is the Miss Claire Blooming Face Powder. This is also a, a translucent powder and it is not a paraben-free product. It has paraben into it. But other than that, if I talk about the texture of the powder and how well it works in terms of bright my skin it is amazing now first of all I bought it in the shade TL4 translucent it does available in other shade so in this particular shade it has a really rich yellow undertone so which work perfectly for my skin tone to brighten up my face powder is not at all grainy neither extreme powdery but I really like the quality of the sponge it comes up I feel it is quite soft but be a bit careful if you use the puff itself which comes with because it picks up a lot of product I compare it with the color sense and the star cosmetic ones i will say that it lasts longer on your face it definitely keep your face matte for a quite long time and i will highly recommend it to someone with oily skin or a sweaty skin like me powder i wanted to talk about is the ads luxury banana powder now this is how the product look it comes in this sort of jar packaging as you can see and it is definitely a plastic package i do not the quality of the plastic is quite good i feel the only thing which i do not like i feel it's a bit bulky so definitely I won't be carrying it with myself in case I'm traveling. So it looks exactly a dupe for the Benai banana powder. Yes. Now this powder has a really, really rich yellow undertone. So if you're looking for a 
translucent powder if you're looking for a loose powder or a banana powder this could work really well and i won't say it is extremely soft in texture definitely not grainy or extremely powdery it glides quite softly and smoothly and distributes on your face which i really really like the only thing which i do not like about the ads banana powder is that it is definitely not a paraben free product and it could really last you for a hell lot of time because trust me it's gonna last you for ages i wanted to talk about is a recent purchase of mine and that will be the MN Luxury Banana Powder. I really really like the packaging. It comes in this sort of a cardboard packaging. First of all, I really love the packaging of Minao products. They look so high end even though they are super affordable in pocket. It has such a chic and beautiful packaging. I feel it is really classy. I like the fact that you know it provides a good information at the back and it is also a paraben free product. It comes with a really good powder. Now this powder again has a yellow undertone but I say I feel feel like it sort of has a beige tint to it feel that you can use it universally not only to just highlight the area around your eyes but also to set your overall makeup or it is not at all grainy and it absorbs oil quite well so i feel it is quite suitable for all skin type this powder i wanted to talk about is a white tone face powder yes and i really wanted to include this one as well because i feel this works really well in terms of uh, just neutral colorless translucent powder it do not have any sort of yellow undertone into it but this uh, powder could work beautifully for baking your face i felt it has again a soft texture but it is a bit more powdery if i compare the rest of the variant advise this for setting your foundation or base that much because uh, too much could make your face a bit whitish especially if you are someone with medium dusky or deeper skin tone but yes for baking purpose if you use johnson you can also work with this one it works really nice and a bonus product i wanted to include and that will be the lacme rose powder with sunscreen even though i won't say that it is the best powder i have tried for setting your face but yes it is a decent and a really affordable product available in india now i bought it in the shade warm pink now this shade is i feel something which is more suitable to someone with light medium to medium skin tone and yeah it does have a pinkish undertone so someone with fairer skin tone can go for it as well it do have a beige tone to it as well for which you can use this product for setting your overall face but i don't think it will do any sort of uh, extra in terms of brightening your face it uh, it is not extremely matte but give you sort of a translucent finish which i really like and not and it is also really soft and finely melt so it is not grainy definitely a decent product to try out that was pretty much my video on my top favorite six translucent loose powder or banana powder yes in the indian market within a price of rupees 500 and i hope the video is helpful and you do come to know about few more affordable products which are available in the market and if you like my videos please make sure to hit the like button and yes please do subscribe to my channel guys it is absolutely free and it will definitely help me to take my work forward and yes i will see you guys soon until next time take care bye